Tammy here for an accidental lie. My Christmas vlogmas. I got a little late start, so today is going to be day one for December 1st, December 2nd, and then today's December 3rd vlog all in one. So the weird thing is I've worn this shirt two, <laughs> three days in a row. I had a late start on Sunday because I, uh, which was December 1st, because I was uh, so busy with my Thanksgiving. It was an unusual Thanksgiving uh, where I was just so busy and so full of gratitude the whole time. Uh, last week I had a very nice private prayer time for myself and it was just a lovely time on Wednesday. And that really actually, I think, kicked off the weekend. Uh, my husband came home early on, uh, on Wednesday, which I didn't expect. That was nice. We had a nice evening uh, getting ready to go to my daughter's uh, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and I got to see her house for the first time. Thanksgiving Day, she worked all day, and uh, it was, a, I believe, a 12-hour shift she had. And um, so, um, her husband was supposed to go to his relatives and we didn't want to leave our daughter totally alone so um, we went to the restaurant where she uh, works at to have Thanksgiving dinner with her at after her shift ended so we drove to Eau Claire which is about 200 miles from our home and it was this beautiful drive um, where uh, we saw the beautiful, most beautiful fall russet colors for November that really set that Thanksgiving mo mood. And then when we got to about Amherst, Wisconsin, it turned to snow, snow that had happened maybe two days before, and it was uh, clinging yet to the trees, which is not so usual. And it was a beautiful, beautiful drive. And then we got to beautiful Eau Claire where it was, it, it looks like a mountain town because it has um, bluffs in Wisconsin. We have bluffs on the western part of our state and it has this green greenery on it. It's just gorgeous, a gorgeous area. I've been in mountain towns that don't feel as mountainy as uh, Eau Claire does. And um, it just is a beautiful town. And um, we uh, saw, we ate dinner on Thanksgiving with my daughter. Uh, we saw her house. We watched a movie with her. It turned out her husband had stayed home and he didn't let us know. So he, he had a very meager Thanksgiving dinner. But he was saving up for Saturday's meal that he prepared for us, which was a pork tenderloin meal. And we had a lovely time then, and we watched another fun Christmassy movie. And uh, they were two that are on Netflix, and they're, they're Christmassy. One, the one we watched um, on Saturday was one with Kurt Russell. And the other one was... I can't remember what it was right offhand, but I will look them up and maybe slip them in um, here. Just a minute. I can look them up on Netflix here. Um, and uh, I just have to go in and I can tell you in a minute. I will look them up on mine and I'm doing that right now as uh, we speak. Sunday, um, we recuperated, which was December 1st, and then we played, um, we had a beautiful ride back, and uh, Saturday evening it started snowing, and Sunday we woke up to extreme beauty. Uh, the snow is just now melting off our trees, but it's still, now it looks a lot like Eau Claire did, when we visited Eau Claire right around here, right outside my door. And uh, it's just a winter wonderland <laughs> and very Christmassy, which is much more welcome than it was at Halloween. We had uh, a Thanksgiving where it looked like Thanksgiving, no snow, you know, trees bare on the leaves, uh, bare of leaves, just a few hanging, clinging on. Um, so it was very typical, um, 
Thanksgiving there, and I have to go into a different one, different mode to find it. Uh, hang on, bear with me a minute. Yeah, cheat and go into this one and see if I can, can see it here. I may not be able to. Um, yeah, that can be here. Oh, there we go. The first one we watched was called The Night Before Christmas, and night as in spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. Delightful movie. Do watch that one. It is worth it if you have Netflix. So you'll enjoy that one. Um, it's very um, Hallmark movie-ish. It may have been a Hallmark movie, I'm, I'm thinking. The other one that we saw was, um, uh, here we go, is The Christmas Chronicles. The Christmas Chronicles has Kurt Russell in it, and there's a, a, a fun little ending with it when you meet Mrs. Claus. So do watch that one. It is worth it. It is a modern-ish uh, Santa um, fantasy movie, and you will love it. it. It was very entertaining. Both of those, to me, have become Christmas classics that I will want to watch again in that category, especially the Christmas Chronicles um, with uh, It's a Wonderful Life, um, the Christmas movie, you know, with the little boy and the gun thing. Um the BB gun thing. Oh, I can't think of that name of that movie, but it isn't one of my favorites, but it is one that you that a lot of people like and and I I like to watch it once in a while too for Christmas. There are, you know, it's in that that thing that you will want to see it again and again. So, um those two movies I'm going to recommend. And so we're on now December 1st and like I said, um we kind of just relaxed that day. Um, did a little bit of prepping the house for the Christmas tree and moved things around and cleaned a little bit and we have the tree up um, and more started to get used to it um, he wanted to eat it <laughs> he didn't try to climb it and um, so that was kind of good and I don't think he's going to want to climb it because now um, so after we got the tree just without ornaments on up and, um, you know, some of the house space started in the process of getting ready. I have all of the, I finished, um, my Christmas shopping online that I'm doing mostly. And, um, we also, um, between, that is between, um, December 1st and then December 2nd, Cyber Monday, I finished my Christmas shopping. We got the boxes to on our Walmart run Wednesday night, so we're all set there. So um, December 1st was about getting that all, you know, kind of squared away. Um, and then we visited my mother. And then on December 2nd, December 2nd was not as easy as the rest of the month uh, had been. So, December 2nd, here we are. Okay, so now we're starting the December 2nd vlog month. And December 2nd, um, it just didn't have the same vibe. It was just kind of like an off Monday. I did finish my Cyber Monday shopping, so that was good. I actually got a little gifty for myself, which that was bad, but Tammy's got to be naughty sometimes, I guess. And then, um, then I did, um, I let my husband know about something I got my daughter and her husband for um, a housewarming gift. And uh, because now that we're, we saw her house, we know what things that they might appreciate and like. And um, gave me some Christmas present ideas too, a Christmas surprise idea. So 
Yeah, so that was really good. Um, and then on December 2nd, um, it was the day that we had to take our little black kitten Morse in for his neutering and um, surgery that he's that our cats have had before. And so um, uh, we haven't had too many male um, animals, but I, we've had male dogs. Uh, we had a male cat. I think this is the third male neutering that we've had. And it didn't go as well. Um, he had some bleeding, and um, so he had to go to a special care center overnight uh, just to monitor his bleeding, and he had a good night. So um, let's it's going to cost us a little more. So Cyber Monday was an expensive day. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So now, here we are. Vlogma day three, December 3rd. And so today I'm starting my Vlogma. Um, I was so tired yet. I don't know. I have had a hard time. Oh, I forgot one thing that I did on December 2nd, and that was working on my music for um, a, a recital that I'm going to do at my mom's assisted living December 13th. Okay, so my practice yesterday went well, so now I have to get into the practice, though, of really practicing these, and so I don't have the energy yet, and so I'm going to have to force myself I'm going to let myself watch something, and then I'm going to force myself to practice in about an hour. So that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do. But it start, the day started out goofy because I forgot to set my alarm. And we have had trouble with our washing machine. It hasn't been working well. And we've had to take our laundry to... Um, laundromat, which is something we rarely have had to do in 30 years of marriage. My husband's been doing it. Nice guy. I was working, like when he went and did laundry, though, I was working on the house, so I did have things I was doing, so I wasn't just shirking the deal. So, um, you know, the, it's, you know, we just kind of share responsibilities around here. So, um, but my husband does more than he should, and I'm trying to work on that. It's just, I was sick a few years ago, and I haven't gotten back in the routine, you know, and he's been sharing, holding more of the burden than he used to. We shared things a little bit more um, prior to me getting sick, but um, we're going to work on that some more this year. It's getting better. It's getting better, but, you know, it's not as as nice as it would be and I can't drive like I used to do so um, not as far and not as often and not as reliably so um, that really has put a damper in it and I'm just a very cautious person if I have any sense that I am having a bad day with Meniere's I do not get behind the wheel and um, so and I have to I have to vent without incident for several several weeks before I will get behind the wheel and I had a few little little things uh, in the last week and so I'm not driving right now so that's and they were just little in, minor incidences um, if I had to go drive over to my mom's I could do it and I would be confident I wouldn't have to call a cab like today I'm doing really well and like like I said they were minor just little just little reminders that oh you do have that yet you know <laughs> kind of thing so um anyway I don't know if most of you realize this that um, I'm not like officially disabled but there is a little disability going on there and um so I am confined to my home a lot more than um then sometimes people that are actually considered disabled and, um, you know, in wheelchairs because it's not something... <sighs> I look totally normal, but there is that that I am dealing with, and it's 
much more of a struggle than one would think. And um, people can be very mentally challenged with it um, because if you can imagine, um, if you've heard things where they have bombs go off and they have that ringing like sound, really sonic ringing in movies, that's what we hear in our head. And it can last for five minutes, it can last for 10 minutes, it can last for 15 minutes. And it's the most scary thing because you don't know if that's the end and this is how people have sound when they have a stroke and they're going to die or if it's just another Meniere's attack. And if you let it go too much, your, your chest starts pounding, which adds to it. So you have to try to just kind of breathe through it and it has to remain calm with this. And so that's what Meniere's is like. So anyway, live with that. I kind of got on a little different tangent here. And in that explanation of what was happening today, um, this morning, I you know, kind of had dozed in my chair, um, was worried about Morse to go back to go to bed, slept soundly, forgot to put my alarm on. And uh, 7.30, there's a ringing doorbell and pounding at the door, and I'm in bed. And I have this repairman at the door, and I had I didn't think he had called, but because usually they call a few minutes ahead, he did, but he had called twice, but I had not answered the door. <laughs> I had not, I was I couldn't answer the door, so I go up to the door. I said, "I'll be there in just a minute," because you know I have to put my dog away, and then I quick threw on my outfit, which like I delayed to get ready in the sun. Sunday and it was still clean and I it's so comfy I put it on yesterday with a different pair of leggings today I put on Sunday's leggings quick because that's what I was there with the same shirt so really this vlogma even though it is day one two and three you're seeing the outfit that I saw I wore day one two and three so it works it works I look the same as I would have if I had made three different vlogmas already I don't usually wear outfits this often Tomorrow, no matter what, I'm going to be changing. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to hold back and not have so much wash because we still are without a washing machine. So that's the other thing, too, is I, if it's clean, I'm wearing it again. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to stop for right now. I'll probably be back and give a little bit of an update after I watch something and relax. And then I go back to um, practicing and doing a few things and I'll update you on day three of Vlogmas. Well, so I got in mail. I now have all of my Christmas presents. They're all here, so they're ready to wrap. I messaged my daughter something and I made this lunch for myself, which I'm gonna show you. And then after that, I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do. I actually had a sandwich kind of around 10.30 this morning um, with toast. And then I, I like to make this. This is rice, uh, cream of rice with a little cheese in it. And it's sort of, sort of a breakfasty, but I'm going to eat it for lunch. And then um, I have my Thanksgiving cards, which I wanted to get out before last week, but I'm gonna get them out this week and uh, use them, some of them as thank you notes and follow-ups to people that I visited over Thanksgiving and maybe a few others that I want to send. Um, so that's on my agenda for the rest of the afternoon as I watch some TV. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I have a program picked out. so. It's not the greatest nutritional lunch. I need to get some veggies in, which I will a little later today, um, and some fruit and my yogurt. Uh, my yogurt is going to come next, but I just needed a little comfort food for right now. Um, a little pick-me-up this afternoon. So, that's what's on my menu right now. As you can see, the light is starting to dim, and I have finished all of my Thanksgiving cards. I just have to address a few of them because I 
switched to a new address book and I found out all my addresses and aren't in it yet. So I need to put those in and compile a couple of books that I have and then, well, then I'm ready for Christmas cards. So that'll be next, but I'll probably wait a week or so to do those. And you'll see that on another Vlogma. This vlog is a little bit long right now because it was three days and my next vlogs will be much shorter and I will always end them about this time when the sun starts going down. The only thing I'll be doing this evening is having dinner with my husband and then probably watching some TV. Maybe, maybe I'll make some jewelry. Right now I have little Yuki on my lap and I'll put a picture of her at the very end. And uh, we'll see you very soon, like tomorrow. So this was my Vlogma for December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Today is the 3rd. And uh, I promise I'll change my outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we'll see you soon. Um, if I get really energetic, I might work on some sorting and cleaning a little bit, getting the house ready for the holidays. But we'll see. See you soon. Bye-bye. Here's Yuki, and we're snuggled in. Hope you're snuggled in and having a great evening. Bye-bye.